I'm going to show how I create a highlighter effect on this newspaper image in iMovie so that it looks like this. First, I'll import transparent images that were created in Keynote. There are 10 rectangular shapes with decreasing widths. I'll show how I created these later. I'm going to sort them so the smallest width shows first. Highlight all images and click the plus button to add them to the timeline. Change the duration to 0 0.1 seconds. Drag them over the article. Select the largest width. Set overlay style to picture in picture. And size it so that it covers the first line. You can hold command while dragging to avoid snapping and place it exactly where you need it. Now copy that image. Select all the previous images and choose Paste Adjustments. When I play it, it's choppy, but I'll fix that by speeding it up at the end. Now export the first line as an image. And import it back into the project. Trim the excess from the article image. Add the imported image to the timeline. Copy paste the overlay images over the imported image. Now take one of the copied images and position it over the second line. Copy and paste adjustments to the other images. At the end, I want to hold it for a few seconds, so I'll stretch the last image. Here's the final look before I speed it up. Export the project. Import the video into a new project or delete everything from the timeline of the existing project. I'm going to change the speed to 220. Add the Ken Burns effect to give it movement. And here's the final edit. Now I'll show how I created the images in Keynote. I have a blank slide with the background set to no fill. I use the basic square shape. The first rectangle is the largest width, 1000 by 100. The position is 0, 0490, which is centered against the left edge. The transparency is 40%. The color I'm using is full red with RGB values 25500. I duplicated the slide and reduced the size by one tenth for each rectangle. I then exported them as PNG with the transparent background checked. Depending on what color you use, it can be hard to read the text underneath. For example, yellow didn't work well. In more advanced software, you can control how transparency is applied to make the text pop through. You can control how transparency is applied in iMovie, but for this yellow color that is at 30% transparency, if you add the x-ray filter, it darkens the text underneath. You lose the color, but it may help if text is difficult to read. 